All right, I'm 365 days of horsemanship. Um, it is raining. It's really wet today. Um, but I had another good day with the horses. Um, it's a two day one, this one. So day before yesterday, I came up and had a really nice session with Mia. I realized afterwards that actually the most beautiful part of the session was when she made a counter offer to I'm still working on my um good feelings in walk and trot so I come in we walk around together um just kind of her neck at my shoulder uh, until I get like an ear flick because normally the ears are like pinned back so just like a little ear flick bit of curiosity a little bit of a better feeling and then we stop we think about that we go again so I'll do that in walk and then in trot as well on the left side trot is okay on the right side she'd prefer not to do that um, and so she made this counter offer um, that maybe we could play with the poles instead. And I was like, I could see that it was a counter offer and I liked the counter offer. And so I didn't tell her off. And we, you know, played around a little bit with it, but we kind of played it in the framework of me being like, oh, that's a really cute counter offer, but I'm still going to ask you to do the thing I wanted you to do. And I did think afterwards that maybe it would have been better to go along with her idea. I think that like the dominant kind of dogma and the idea of like the horse always has to do what you want them to do kind of like showed in me and for me. And like actually on reflection at this point point in our relationship you know we're not in a competition you know it's not really essential that she does my idea over her idea really not today um and actually it'd be really valuable to just have some really amazing time together where we feel really connected and we're having lots of fun and if we're doing something that's really her idea and I'm interested in that idea too in like the grand scheme of training uh which I am then that's kind of like probably a good thing to do together so yeah so that was kind of my little learning point um, and then I came back today uh, with the idea that I would go back in and if she offered me that counter offer again that I would really take it um, so we went in and we um, did a little bit of walk and trot on the left and we were just going on to the right oh, excuse me when it started raining and I we kind of waited with it for a few minutes I feel like I am smart enough now to know that pushing on through the rain is just like not really that good for the relationship um and so uh we waited for a minute together to see if it was going to get better and it did not feel like it was getting better um so uh i brought her up to the yard and popped her in a stable and we did her plats which was really nice and i feel like she really had like an awareness and appreciate and an appreciation of the fact that i had made that choice and was like yeah I really love that choice that you've made like I felt like we were really in it together where she was like this is definitely a thing I would rather do than be out in this rain um so so that was really nice um and it was really good timing because then um the rain stopped um and I was able to let her back out excuse me when the rain had stopped which was even better because it was like just the whole thing just felt like full circle so that was really nice um with Lawrence two days ago um quite a quick session I think he might be struggling with some hay fever this year I need to look into some natural remedies for hay fever I feel like I just want like don't know like an like an oil or something like a herbal supplement that I can just like give him when I'm here um like an antihistamine but like a sort of natural antihistamine I don't know what's out there I need to have a little little research little google um so yeah so it was kind of like it was nice actually I put some hay out for them the day before yesterday and um and then I was kind of able to just chill with him for a few minutes while he ate the hay which was really nice um and much more like relaxed and all this scratching business and I basically tried to leave before he got too obsessed about scratching. Um, so we could kind of have a session where that didn't really come up. So it's quite a short session, but I think it was nice to have a session where we didn't really like end up in the scratching game for a million years. Um, 
And then yesterday, I was so tired. Um, I'm in the I'm in the middle of my break um, in between runs, and I'm feeling really like run down, um, really tired, really lethargic. Um, and yeah, so yesterday I didn't come. Oh, I just excuse me. I stayed at home, uh, and I actually finished Andrea Wadey's book, um, Crossing Bridges, which was really good, actually. Um, I would like to do a proper review of it. Hopefully, I'll have my all my ducks in a row, and by the time I actually post this video, I'll be able to post the link to Andrea's book and the link to my review. So it'll all come together. That's the plan. Um, so we'll see if that works out. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was a nice day yesterday. And then today I came up, um, and yeah, with Lawrence, then I was able to, um, do a little bit more stabling practice with him. Um, it started raining again. Um, and so I grabbed him and brought him up. Um, and just did a little bit more work on like when we're not in the stable, we're walking around and when we're in the stable, we're chilling and just the whole thing generally. I mean, I only played with it for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 max. Um, but even just that, like, I just felt like he was way more comfortable and relaxed than he'd been the first time. Um, and there was more curiosity within the stable and... Yeah, I basically just kind of waited for a really good moment, a really nice moment, uh, which I did get. Um, and yeah, they took him back. So so it felt good. I feel good about my sessions today. Um, the weather kind of really put a damper on my day for like a lot of reasons. Um, I had a whole day of fencing scheduled at the yard and I was actually kind of looking forward to just like getting in my zone, doing some fencing like doing the horses, you know, when the moment arose and I was really like energetic for that. And then the weather is just like really like humid and close and it's like warm, but it's really wet. Um, and it was like too wet to be out there with like equipment and, you know, stuff. Um, and yeah, it was just like a bit of a mishmashy day. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself uh, for what I have got done with the horses. Um, and yeah, hoping that this August rain will end soon. Seems to be the way it, uh, that it is now here in the south west of the UK, south central of the UK. Um, that we get kind of a rainy August and then maybe we'll get a nice September. So, so yeah, who knows? We will see. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully the weather will be a, bit, a little bit better and I'll be able to come up um, and do some more stuff.